guys welcome back to what is she cooking all right guys today i have a special guest my mr sweet face ashton we're gonna be making grilled cheese that's right grilled cheese so guys it's not any type of grilled cheese so this is gonna be a little competition i'm gonna show you guys how an adult will eat grilled cheese and he's gonna show you guys how a kid eat grilled cheese i'm gonna win he says he's gonna win but i'm gonna win are you gonna win Nah, I think I'm gonna win. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna tell you what I'm putting in mine and he's gonna tell you what he's putting in his. All right, tell the people what you're gonna put in your grilled cheese. What you gonna put in your grilled cheese? I have no clue what this is called. <laughs> you have no clue what this is called. Okay, what kind of meat are you gonna put in it? Don't you don't know? What kind of cheese? What color is the cheese that you said you want in your grilled cheese? White. White cheese. It's Swiss cheese, but he called it white cheese. And what kind of meat did you want to put on it? You don't know what that's called? You didn't want turkey or you wanted ham? Mm -hmm. Ham. He wanted ham. Well, he told me turkey, so he getting turkey today, okay? You gonna learn today. All right, so he's gonna put Swiss cheese and turkey in his. Boo. And my grilled cheese, because I'm super extra and I feel like adults like to go over the top. I'm gonna have some provolone cheese, some Gouda cheese, and this three pepper Kobe Jack cheese. I have never had this before, but I'm really excited to try because it said three peppers. Also, we're gonna be using sourdough bread. And guys, I'm gonna make a jalapeno strawberry jelly spread to go on the inside of my grilled cheese. But not only am I gonna put that spread on the inside, guess what? Hello, bacon. This grilled cheese sandwich will be wrapped in bacon. Oh yeah, all the fat, all that. So if you guys are looking for something else today, uh-uh, not today. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing mine. Ashley's gonna prepare his, and we'll be right back. Guys, so what I'm doing is I'm helping Ashton spread on the butter. He's making his lovely little cheese sandwich. So proud of him. He's five years old. Train him up, guys. Now he's adding on his turkey. Gotta help him spread it out. You know, kids, they just put it all in one spot. Now I'm gonna give him his cheese. He's gonna put it on. Of course, he's gonna slap it all in the same spot. Spread it out, Ashton. Now he's gonna flip over his bread, straighten it up for me, and I'm gonna put it in a skillet to cook. Now just watch this golden brown. Oh my gosh, delicious. That is beautiful. Now I'm going to take it out of the skillet and we're going to cut it. Mm. This is a really good sandwich for a five-year-old to make. And he did it basically by himself with the help of me, of course. But still, he did a great job. He said what he wanted and he got it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start working on my sandwich. I'm going to add in two spoons of that strawberry preserved jelly and then the jalapenos, especially from... Angela's Garden. I'm gonna blend that up. And it's gonna still be kind of like a thick consistency, but you can kind of pour it out. Really, really yummy. This will go great on some biscuits. And it still has a little bit of jalapeno chunks. And it wasn't too spicy. Now I'm gonna make my own like spread that I want on my sandwich. Yes, a half a teaspoon of garlic, the butter, and then some parsley flakes. And I'm just gonna mix that up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and lay out this bacon, three slices. And then I'm gonna put that butter on the bread. Yummy, so delicious. And then I'm gonna lay that down and then put the jelly on top of that before I add the cheese. Can't go wrong with sweet and spicy. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and add the three pepper cheese first. Then I'm going to add the Gouda. Then I'm going to add the provolone. Then I'm going to add the Gouda again. And then the three pepper Kobe Jack. Mm, 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 mm. Then I'm going to add some jelly to that other slice of bread. Yep. Mm. 
flip it over then add the rest of my butter oh yeah now i'm gonna wrap it yes wrap it in that lovely bacon look at that how yummy oh no three slices is not enough six slices would do yep it's like a mummy grilled cheese a mummy bacon grilled cheese now i'm gonna throw it in a pan oh i wish you guys could hear that sizzle it was like Sss. now watch this boom yes look at that bacon look at it that is delicious so what I'm also going to do is pick this up and cook it like two minutes on the side. Because you know, of course, the sides have to be cooked too. But look at it, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that cheese just goozing out of there. And what I like about it is that all the cheese didn't melt down. You can really still taste the cheese. It still was in there fully. It was delicious. It, was, it really was a delicious sandwich. This is my grilled cheese. This is Ashley's grilled cheese. Boo! I want, I want, I know I want. But anyways, I want you guys to comment below who grilled cheese you like the best. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all your friends and family. Keep God first in all that you do. And guess what? We out. Say bye to the people, Ashton. Bye.